Hey Tandy Lab fans, it's Jacob, and uh, we're going to be looking at a printer today. Specifically, we're looking at the uh, Tandy Computer Products DMP106 dot matrix printer. And according to the person we bought this from, this particular one, despite looking kind of gnarly on the outside box, uh, is supposedly never been opened. Let's find out if that's true or we got scammed. All right, so here's the box. Uh, printer itself is printed on the box. It looks, you know, it, it's a dot matrix printer. There's nothing particularly special as far as I know about this model. Uh, there's definitely some water damage and exposure to the box itself. Hopefully the insides are fine. I do notice that there's some uh, marker on here. Someone wrote 40. Interesting. Uh, you can also see here in the top corner, it does say the uh, Tandy SKU. It says uh, it is a 26-2802. Cool. I'm going to check out the sides, see if there's anything of particular note. I don't believe there is. There is uh, some sort of printed sticker on it that I gotta flip it over to see what that says. Uh, it looks to be from Radio Shack itself. It says Radio Shack uh, Terminal RD, Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, and it was shipped to Williams Furniture World in Fairfax, Rhode Island. Um, okay, and there's also a date. Uh, 12, 8, 87. That's kind of cool, actually. I like that uh, there's some history on the box. It is pretty hard to read that, though, because the sticker itself has some water damage. But we're going to crack the actual box open now, see how well the things inside have held up. Uh, it looks like on the box here, we have some uh, a diagram for the printer and like how it comes out and how you're supposed to put it together. Okay. All right. So far, so good. We have a box with a ribbon cartridge. See if I can open it without damaging the box. There we go. And here it is. Wow, look at that. It's a ribbon cartridge. Exciting. It is cool that it is still sealed in its packaging. Doesn't look like anything's damaged or anything like that. I'm not too experienced with ribbon cartridges, you know, so I can't tell super well. Uh, let's see if it has any codes on it or anything. Yes, uh, number 26-1288. I'm not sure if that's standard for most of the line, but I know it works for this one because it specifically lists the 106. Then, <coughs> oh, something came out with that dust or dirt or something. <clears throat> We have a uh, cardboard. That's fun. And uh, the dot matrix printer DMP106 operation manual. Nice red cover. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. That's really neat. We have a full schematic diagram for it. I don't know why you'd specifically be going in and messing with that on a printer, but you can. And it's nice that they include uh, the information on that. I suppose that would be good for repair. All right. Man, I always open these upside down. That's correct. Then. Never mind.
<laughs> we have some styrofoam. We have uh, the bracket that's usually used, you know, to keep the paper from flying out everywhere. That's usually what these are for. They're not necessarily necessary. That's a phrase. Uh, but they're important nonetheless. More styrofoam. Uh, and this does, in fact, look like it hasn't been opened. I can't know for sure, but it does have the original packing material. It even has the original tape on it still. So, at the very least, if it's not un unopened, it's uh, in good condition. There is paper in it. Is there supposed to be paper in it? I don't know. I'm not sure if this is actual paper or if it's uh, just the protective paper they put in it. I, I think it's actual like thermal paper though. It feels waxy. Uh, there is tape keeping this part on, so uh, let's enjoy taking that tape off. Ooh. There we go. Look at that. Nice and clean. And there's another piece over to this side. Take that one off too. And uh, I noticed there's uh, still some protective film on the translucent plastic. That's, uh, I might want to actually keep that on. Oh. Trying to figure out how you open the panel that I just took the tape off for. But I don't want to break it because I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, maybe I'll have to read the manual later. <laughs> All right, I officially give up for the moment. We'll uh, figure that out at a later time. Uh, it very, very much matches the uh, Tandy aesthetic of the time. Very well fits in with anything from the original Tandy up to like the RL, I'd say. It would fit in quite well. Everything else would probably clash just a little bit. Uh, we have your uh, actual port to plug it in uh, to the printer. You've got some dip switches on the back here. I hate dip switches. Uh, let's hope they're pretty easy to deal with. Uh, that, I believe, is the uh, alternative port. That looks a lot like uh, the TRS-80s uh, ports. So I'm guessing that's what that is. And we have our power adapter here. Still has its uh, like protective stuff on it, too. That's cool. All right, well, it is really cool that it's new in box. Uh, there's not too much else for me to say. It is just a printer. Uh, but it looks like you definitely have to do a little work to uh, get this protective piece here out. I'm not going to mess with that right now because I probably will break it. So uh, what I'm going to do now is cut the video off here and say thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, make sure to like, comment down below if you've ever used a dot matrix printer, you know, what your history with them are. Uh, let us know if you think this was a waste of money. Why would you buy a, a dot matrix printer in 2019? But hey, whatever. Uh, if you're really into Tandy computers and old retro computers and stuff and you love seeing this kind of stuff, you've got to make sure to join our Facebook group. Uh, that's going to be really, really fun. We've already shown some really cool stuff off in there and had some great discussions. You should join it now. Um, I think that's about it. So I'm going to wrap this up and say see you guys next time.